Hi everyone, it's Noelle from Scrap Paper Art and I know it's been so long since I did a video but everybody has been encouraging me to start back up again so here I am. I know it's been almost a year and it's been a journey. Um, Hubby and I have been on a roller coaster and everyday life is just full of ups and downs and full of blessings and we're very grateful and but you know it life gets away and things all I know things get in the way and some days you're encouraged and some days you're discouraged but I'm happy to say that most days uh, it's very encouraging so enough said there, uh, I just want to get into this project that I started last year. Yep, last year. I finished it up. Um, I needed something in between working on a project and it's been very hot here in Southern California and with that Hurricane Patricia, all it did was bring humidity and heat again and we were up in the 90s again yesterday. So. In between working on a project, when things had to dry, I decided to pull this out and finish it up. And um, it's probably going to be a giveaway because I have no use for this. Um, I my grandkids all live far away, and so I just it was a project I want to get completed, and I did. So I'm probably going to give it away. How I am, I'm not sure yet. Um, so let me just explain what I did here. Um, it's a coffee sleeve mini. Um, I just took a bunch of different ribbons and it's held together with a, um, a ring and I just tied them on there. The paper collection is from various different um, paper. I can't tell you exactly. I'm sure you'll recognize it. Um, I used a bunch of die cuts. These were just things that I had laying around and I need to use this stuff up or get rid of it. So let's begin. I'm sorry about that. Here's a rosette that I made and um, a little download from Pinterest, a free download. I don't um, take any uh, pictures that are not um, free. I double check when I post and I try to make sure that everything, 99.9% .9 of all of my printables on there um, should be free. I'm hoping, I'm not sure, but if there isn't and someone lets me know, I will remove it. This is a, a stick pin that I made. I had a bunch of these and I thought I'd just stick it in here. Here is a bottle cap that I just punched out a little uh, decorative paper and these are, um, I think these came from Michael's years ago. Plastic, um, either that or the dollar store, they were just plastic spiders. They came in orange, green, and black. And then on the inside, of course, because this is I'm not a fan of rings. Um, because this is a coffee sleeve, I have this stamp with goo with eyes, a uh, coffee cup with eyes, and I just stuck a couple of googlies in there. I thought that was fitting for this um, little mini. <clears throat> in each of the pocket I have a little die cut that I got. I think I got these at Michael's. They were K and Company, I think, years ago. I'm not sure. Um, here's a spooky house and on the back I have a uh, Jack Skellington and Sally uh, rubber stamp and I have this wacky um, bat. I just love this bat. So that. This is, um, I think this is a die that I have and these were acetate um, die cuts that I also got from Michaels. Um, this is some, I think this was a trim. It was spider and a spider web trim that I had gotten and, in a rack and um, I just cut a portion of it out. Here is a punch that a Martha Stewart punch and um, here is just a little cat. It's a tuck spot so you can stick something in there. This is a download um, like I said from Pinterest. It's just a little tag for, a, um, for journaling. Um, here's another uh, little ghost. It's an acetate um, ghost and pumpkin. And then this one is uh, plastic 
uh, ghost button. I think that came from Michael's. This is a doily um, that I punched. I punched it out. It's a die that I have. I think it's from Cherry Lynn, and I punched it out on um, Halloween paper. And then this is a free die cut from Pinterest. And then you can journal on the back. And here's another little ghost um, acetate. And then this coffee sleeve opens up. Here's another one of those spiders in green. And then it opens up and inside is a tag. And the tag, I made another tag, uh, or a pocket, I'm sorry, a pocket. And then here's a tag with some, um, this is a stamp. And there's some of these um, bats. I got these in a um, swap, and I don't know who I got them from, but I think I have three of them, and I used um, two of them in here because I put one on the back. So when you look from the back, and you can see that. And then here's a, a clothespin that I had just um, stuck paper on, painted it black and stuck paper on. It closes that up. Here is the back side of this sleeve, and here's a tuck spot here. Let's see, I'll pull this out. Here's the tuck spot in here. And then this, this I think came from Michael's about a year ago. I think a year or so ago they have it. We've put all this stuff information on here. And um, this was paper, and this was, this is a sticker, a little frog sticker, three-dimensional or two-dimensional, whatever. And then here's a pumpkin. And then this is a little license plate that I had. I've had this these for years. I think I've had this a set. There's a Halloween, a Christmas, and something else. But I think I've had it for like 15 years. So I decided to put it in here. And then here's a tag, that I just a plain tag that I made. And um, this is a die cut that I have. I think it's from... I don't know. Um, if you want to know, I can. I think Slice Style Crafts and the spider. And I just stuck a, a line to connect the spider to the spider web. And then here is another die cut, an acetate die cut. I just took a piece of the paper and you know it made a tuck spot out of it. You can just do a little journaling. And here is. One of them Fleur buttons that they that they sell it came from Michaels, I'm sure. And then here is a Fright Night uh, sweets little die cut that uh, came with a in a package. And I made these um, enamel dots. And I have a little spider punch that I put that on. And then I took a Prima stamp set that I have for journaling, different journal things, and I stamped it on the back, so um, please bear with me. Like I said, it's been a year since I've done a, a video, and I'm not really a big fan on doing videos, but I know that I enjoy doing them when they're done, but um, just getting to do them, I guess, is my hard part. So, um, anyways, this is the last sheet. And here's just some recollections playing.